tēnā tātou. No mai haere mai. Welcome to the Māui Playbook, where we discuss culture, commerce and creativity. My name is Vincent Egan. I'm a doctorate student of professional practice. On this podcast, we'll pinpoint critical mindsets, systems and behaviours to optimise for growth and success. Awesome. So I want to, I want to share with you guys something that I think is pretty cool. I think it's also worth considering spending a little bit of money on if it makes sense for your organization. I want to share with you a project that's led by our head of R and D here at Maui Studios. Uh, we've worked with iwi stakeholders who have recently built a center of excellence for indigenous innovation over in Wanganui, and this iwi wanted to be able to transform their space into a future focused place that uses technology within their visitor center. And I've seen this keenness across Aotearoa to develop like spaces that are, you know, uh, spaces that are dedicated to fostering the next generation's interest in designing for technology and designing technology itself. So we've worked with this particular iwi to introduce this brand new technology and patentable technology that is embedded with cultural values and mātauranga, and it's creating this bespoke hardware and software solution that has never been seen anywhere else before in the whole world. But before I tell you about this particular thing, I just want to encourage you to like and subscribe our channel. This is a zero cost way to be able to support the work that we do here and helps us to be able to make more content like it. So we sat down and through Wananga, one of the challenges the iwi identified was having a lot of people in their visitor space while there weren't any staff members available. And so they were after a solution that would manaki their manuhiri during times that staff were just too busy. So the client was keen on this technologically advanced solution, but it, they wanted it to be um, culturally respectful and also reflect the heritage and values of their local hapuri. They wanted it to be embedded with their values um, in something like a digital technology that would re represent them as a people. And so the, to meet the client's vision, we put together this AI avatar, and you can see an example of it behind me, as an interactive installation that was manufactured and designed both in-house. Now, this wahine, she was designed using MetaHuman. You might recognize the technology. She is female. She has a moko kowai that was offered by a brave iwi member to design and have it implemented. And she's wearing kaku Māori from the local Takiwa as well. This digital tangata, she speaks te reo Māori, but she can be taught any language. It could be for Chinese visitors or Russian or any sort of visitors. She can be taught any language. She'll recognize a person as soon as they come into the space. Um, and then she'll also recognize any sort of hand gestures that you may perform during the time that you're in front of her, which creates this seamless and interactive experience with you and her. This AI avatar, she helps with things like visitor management, which is something that we've already been talking about. She's greeting Manuhiri, but she's also automating things like chickens and inquiries, and she's answering any sort of questions. Um, and this is essentially to be eliminating those manual processes and any paperwork that could come from having a visitor in your space. This episode is brought to you by Meta Whenua. Meta Whenua are digital Māori cultural spaces available for interactive learning, cultural preservation and access. Meta Whenua bring te ao Māori to you and those you care about. If you'd like to learn more, please register your interest at metafenua.com or a link is available for you in the description. Meta Whenua. Embrace te ao mati ko Māori. This installation's intuitive gesture recognition means you can interact with the iwi information in a fun and easy way and you don't actually have to touch the installation itself or you know it's not getting dirty or people aren't getting any kind of bacteria and things on it it's all done by waving your hand and interacting with it this way so you can swipe through pages you can push on individual pieces of information swipe through it go through the catalog of iwi information and you don't actually have to touch the thing this automation saves time and labor costs. It, it gives a reputation that this iwi embraces innovation and is open to new and cost-effective ideas and is creating an iconic visitor experience. It's also positioning the iwi as a leader in adopting new technology solutions. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about this technology, then definitely check out the links in the description. And I reckon you should definitely consider getting one of these for your business or your tourism venture 
or your rangatai space. And if there's anything you'd like to say about this particular piece of technology or some of the stuff that's been covered in today's episode, then let us know in the comments below. Check. If you're learning something or getting any value out of this podcast, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's a zero cost way to support us so we can bring more of this type of content to you. Alternatively, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description. Please check out our sponsors. That's the best way to support this podcast. If you have any questions, advice or comments for us, or even topics you'd like us to cover, please put those in the YouTube comment section. We will read every comment and would like to know your thoughts. If you're not already following us on social media, we're Maui Studios on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and LinkedIn. Links are available in the description. This is the podcast where we discuss culture, commerce and creativity. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this episode. Kia hou maru te noho. Have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next one. Mauri ora.